Make sure these demons remember the name. I do them dirty like EU when I'm dead calm. Till I get hot, but I see through all your demons. Slap in the guys that need suit, cut your head off. Pull up with your demons, I'm making sure they next come. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's gonna, I'm going to play a little bit of gameplay in the background, of course. But I'm just going to be talking today about how most anime games die and how it's kind of inevitable at this point. The same thing happened with Heroes Ultimatum. It, the, it could have happened with Shinobi Life 2, but they got, you know, they got copyrighted. So they had to change up a few things. And I'm going to be honest to you. I'm going to be honest with all of you. If Shinobi Life 2 did not get copyrighted, the game would have died a long time ago. Okay, I'm just... I'm just stating the fact, okay? It happens to it happens to every Naruto game and every game that just based around one anime period, all right? But today's today's going to be more based around Demon Fall if, if anything, but I'm going to just throw like most of the other anime games in there as well. All right, so Demon Fall. Demon Fall is basically another Demon Slayer game, but the reason why this one caused so much traction is cuz it's actually it's a lot it's a lot more refined than other and other Demon Slayer games in general. Probably the closest comparison to Demon Fall is Wisteria. I honestly think they're like they're almost identical when it when it time when it comes to like uh, you know animations, skills. But you know everyone has their own opinion. Demon Slayer RPG 2, that one, you know that's also a Demon Slayer game that people thought was really good. I I used to play it. I wasn't really a big fan of it, but I could at least sit on it. But yeah, Demon Slayer RPG, RPG 2 wasn't really my uh, was really my cup of tea. But Demon Fall really caught my eye because of the way, because of how in detail that game really was, and how detailed that game was put together. Now, when you play Demon Fall for the first time, you look in the bio. The first thing that it will say is that this is not a bandit beater. Basically, what a bandit beater is is like uh, you know, you guys know those grindy games on Roblox where you just gotta. You gotta grind mobs and get your levels up. Uh, Blocks Fruits is uh, is a prime example. Uh, Shindle Life is another example, to a certain extent. To to a certain extent, um, I can't think of any other examples right now. But pretty much almost any other anime game in Roblox, you it'll probably be a bandit beater. You get you know you 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 just you just grind mobs until your level gets high enough, and then boom, you go to PvP, and that's pretty much the end of it. Now that's all the extra stuff. Now let me just get straight to the point about why I think Demon Fall and almost every other anime game dies at some point. Now listen carefully. I need you guys to think, to just think clearly, and just just think about it for a second. All right, think about almost every anime game in Roblox. Okay, you know the the first ones I was really popping was Dragon Ball Z, and then it switched to Mar I think it, yeah it was Dragon Ball Z first, and then it switched to Naruto. And then I think I think Jojo came next. I think I think it was, I think it went Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, Jojo, maybe One Piece after that, and then maybe after One Piece is Demon Slayer. I think Demon Slayer is a little wave wearing now. Now out of all of those categories, you will probably find three games out of probably three or four games if you're lucky out of all of these animes that are actually still relevant to this day and when i mean relevant i don't mean like you know like the 1k the 1k andes i'm talking about you know maybe 5 5k 6k 7k 8k 9k 10k players a day you feel me though that's what i mean by you know relevant grand piece online is one of them um what else uh, blocks fruits is still relevant but blocks blocks fruits is pretty new so i i kind of i kind of exempt that from it uh shindo life but the thing about Shindo Life is Shindo Life isn't really a Naruto game. It's kind of an everything game now. That's why it stays relevant. I don't know why people fail to realize that. And YBA also, Your Bizarre Adventure. That's also another one that, that's staying relevant. But after all of that, you, you will struggle to find any other different type of games that are still up to this. You know, that are still like really putting in numbers like how they used to. Feel me? Now, the biggest reason for that, and I'm going to just speak on Demon Fall. Now, this is just Demon Fall in general. Demon Fall, after... After you know, like the first thing you do, you become a demon or a slayer. You know, demons. I guess I don't. I haven't played the new demon missions, but apparently, like, apparently demons got one new mission. But the thing about that is, like, once you do all the story missions for either if you're a demon, a demon or a slayer, once you do all the story missions, there's literally nothing else to do but band to beat. I swear, there's no other way to. You can't. It's no more content after that. You feel me? Like you just run out of content. It's nothing else to do after that. And even then, you guys may think like, "Oh, they just got to update the game where the dev was doing this or that, whatever." Think about it this way: No matter how many updates they do on Demon Fall, Demon Fall is still based off of Demon Slayer. It's almost so much. It's almost. It's only so much Demon Slayer has to offer. Okay, like think about it. Think about it. 
after they added all of the boss missions, the Muzan boss, not, I haven't watched the manga of Demon, or watched, I haven't read the manga of Demon Slayer, so I can't, I don't know what happens after Muzan, but I'm just saying, once they put all of the missions in, what do you guys think is going to happen with Demon Fall? Once all of the missions are done and out of there, it's nothing else they can, they, it's nothing else they can do. Once they add all the breathings, you know, moon style, whatever, Demon Fall is literally going to be the same thing as Demon Slayer RPG. Wisteria, all of those other games. It's literally going to become the exact same thing. It's going to fall off because it's nothing else they can do to the game, unless they go the route that Shindle Life did, and I don't see them doing that. It's called Demon Fall for a reason. It's literally, ba it's literally a copy paste of D of Demon Slayer. You know, like it's nothing else they can do to it after all of those missions are done. After they add all of those updates in about all the new breathings, all the new demon arts, whatever. It's gonna be nothing else they can do. Literally, it's nothing else they can do. Which means their game has nothing else to do but fall off. Unless the PvP carries, like, you know. I, but it's just like, the way the PvP is right now, it doesn't look that way. Now, I'm gonna also talk about the PvP too. Now, the PvP is, I honestly, I don't, I, I don't dislike the PvP and I don't hate the PvP either. I, I play mobile, so I, I will say this right now, it's, it's honestly very, difficult to even do pvp in in general especially when they're just dashing all over the place and i've done a little bit of pvp ring matches so take it from me it's 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 horrible okay it's it's super hard on mobile all right but i'm not gonna speak for mobile i'm gonna speak for everyone in general i think the pvp is decent i i you know i think the pvp the pvp system not how pvp not not no no not, not the actual moves not the actual breathings and the actual demon arts the pvp system that they made i think it's i think it's okay all right i think it's okay but with that being said that does not take away from the fact that this pvp is very rock paper scissors type like basically whoever hits the first m1 wins i swear especially if they have insect or or moon not moon uh mist or i don't know op like it's even if, if any demon art, I'm gonna be honest with you, any demon art can just infinite combo you, but I'm just saying, most of the time, whoever hits that first M1 first wins. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense, okay? Now, you guys may think that's a, you know, a good thing or a bad thing, whatever, but the thing about it is, that also goes into your health. The health is horrible, like, the health is dog water, I swear, like, you don't have any type of health to be dealing with all this, okay? Like, all these... Like, especially when it's how when the PvP is how it is, whoever is that first M1 basically wins the game. It doesn't have to be like that. You can add, you can do a little health boost. I'll say, like, probably add like 300, 300, 200 more health, maybe. That'll, like, that'll at least make it, at least make it more, at least make it more, like, viable. At least make it more, like, more of a chance. Cause if even if they catch you off guard one time, it's just GG. And that also, that also, you can't really you can't improve doing that okay like think about that if you want to get better at pvp you're going to go to ranked but the thing about ranked is you can't improve when all they do is just hit you one time then boom you're dead hit you one time boom you're dead combo you like you know like combo you one time boom you're dead you can't improve like that all you're going to be doing is basically the first 100 or 50 games you're going to be doing all you're going to be doing is dashing just dashing and dodging dashing and dodging i swear after out of all those 50 games especially if you're new out of all those 50 games probably going to win two or three if you're lucky i swear all you're going to be doing is dashing 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 trying to get close and then as soon as you get close they're going to m1 you and then boom you're dead like you're just, you're basically just gonna be finding ways to try to hit them. You're not improving that way. You're just running at that point. You're literally just running at that point. I swear. Now was Demon Fall a bad game? No, not at all. I'm just saying. It's um, I hate when devs go one game route, like one anime game route, because it, it just it just leads to a to a very inevitable downfall. You can't you can't make. A uh, Roblox game that's built around one anime and then expect it to last very long because it's almost it's almost it's only so much content you can do. I mean, One Piece, One Piece is different because One Piece has new episodes. You know, every you know, One Piece is still ongoing. Basically, that's my point. But Demon Fall is like, you know, it's it's, it's not much you can do. Like Demon Fall is already pretty much over as I've as I've heard. I don't know if it's a season three for the manga or anything. But I'm pretty sure Demon Fall is pretty much over after season two. It's like it's, it's only so much content you can do off of Demon off of Demon Slayer. Why do I say Demon Fall? Off of Demon Slayer, like you feel me? It's like it's just 
you know it, it's just inevitable at that point but that's all for today make sure you guys subscribe like the video let me know in the comments what you guys think if i missed out on some on some key points let me know in the comments but i'm out peace